Let's create a new schematic. I'll open up a project I previously created. Left click on the expedition start page. And in this project I didn't actually create any schematics yet, so let's do that first. You have two options for creating a new schematic. You go to File, New, or I actually prefer to go to the shortcut bar right here. So I actually click uh, the little New Shortcut button, and then I go to Board. And then always start off with a new board in your project. And then on this new board I can actually create a circuit. And just do a little simple voltage source with a resistor on the output. And what I'm going to do is actually connect it there. And then with System Vision you also have the option of creating another sheet and netlisting them on multiple sheets. So in order to do that first I have to give this net a name, so let's call this net1. And then let me create a new sheet. And then on this sheet I'm going to complete the rest of the circuit. So I'll add a resistor and a ground there. And then I'm going to actually make a net right there. And then I'm going to call this net net1 as well. And now since they both have the same share the same name, they're actually connected even though they're on separate sheets. Uh, to make this a little bit more clear that this net was intentionally dangling, we could add a little symbol here if we go to our special components. And you go to links, and you go to off sheet. And then on this side, I'm going to go to same spot, special components, and then I'm going to go to links, and I'm going to go to on sheet. Okay? These, these connectors don't actually connect the nets together. What they're connected by is the name, so make sure you name them the same. But it's nice to kind of see this in the schematic so you actually know that you intentionally put this dangling net here, and it's supposed to be going to another sheet in your design. So if I wanted to simulate this, I click my running person right there. And let's just enter an end time. Click OK. If we took it the waveform, so this is the input voltage of 5 volts, and if we look at net 1, we'll see that it's divided in half compared to the input voltage. And that's how you create a new schematic.